James Bruce and Wayne with Steve Souter. Every time you walk in the Jones Hill house, I see these punt returns again. Do they play in your head as often as we see them over Jones Hill house? A quick snap before Maryland can get set. Back pedaling is Souter. Looks up to take it. He'll get it at the old, his old 23. Up to the 30, to the 35, to the 40. Running for the sidelines. The 40, the 45, midfield. The 45, the 40. Shooter down to the 35, the 30. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Steve Shooter. 77 yards. They play a lot on my YouTube, actually, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good walk down memory lane a lot when I maybe need a little pick me up, throw some of those clips in and. It's always good to relive those memories because we had a lot of fun beating them down pretty good. So you're per, you're going to play West Virginia, which yeah. is a great segue because those punt returns are against West Virginia. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's that mean to you as a Maryland Terrapin to play the Mountaineers? Uh, it's the most important game I ever played in, really. That, that, that was the rivalry for me. More than I wanted to be Virginia, more than I wanted to be Clemson or anybody in the ACC. I wanted to be West Virginia the most, so it's great for me to see them back on the schedule. I hope the universities can get it together to keep the rivalry going into the future. But that's not my call. It's a money thing probably, so it'll be a good time for me. I'll be jacked up and amped up on Saturday. That's why I love him on the radio. I tell you, listen, you, I've known you a long time. You've always been a guy who says what's on your mind. When you were on the radio before you were, yeah. when you've been on my show, you have. Have they put any restrictions on you, or they want you to be yourself? I'm, they, I haven't had anything formal as far as yeah. restrictions go yeah. yet, so maybe they'll see how week one goes. And I know I've been kicked out of the press box before back in the day. Yeah. Right. I didn't understand my first couple of trips up there that you weren't supposed to be cheering for the team. Which right. It's hard for me. I, I don't go to the press. I won't stay in the press box. Yeah. I have to go outside because I'll get thrown Everybody's out. crunching keyboards and yeah. I'd be up there yelling people fumble and getting people crazy. People think it's great, you know yeah. what I mean? But it is yeah. quiet. Yeah. Listen, talk about this team. Talk about Talia. Talk about the receivers of which you were once. Mm-hmm. How great is this receiving team? It's very good. Top to bottom, and it's a deep squad. Uh, some of the best ones that I've seen. You got guys like obviously Demas, who's you know I don't want to jinx him, but he's I think he's looking at a, being a third round pick of, of that nature. He's got that type of talent, that type of body, and and more importantly, his hard work. I've been out to several practices during camp. I never see him tap out. He's on multiple special teams, which is something you don't see from your number one receiver. And then obviously Ruck Tim is great in the slot. He's a shifty guy. You're, we're going to be looking to make, see him make big plays. Okay. Who, who's faster in their prime? You or oh, Rock? Me. me. Of course. Hands down. <laughs> yeah. how I, won't, your... I won't say anybody could beat me. Uh, how are your knees now? <laughs> Not good. So he could beat me now. Okay. Uh, I'll get off the bad stuff and back to the rest of the score. Yeah. Loxley brings up Brian Cobb's leadership. Is that evident to you? It is. Of the practice I've watched, I made, I made a point to go out to some of the coaches that I know and and just point to him and say, look, if he's not going to be one of the top three receivers, you got to get that kid on all special teams because he's just a kid that you can tell needs to be on the field. However they can find a way to put him on the field, they need to get him on the field. Bruce? Rock Jarrett, very impressions of him. Excuse me? Rock Jarrett, Rock Team Jarrett. Oh, he's, he's a playmaker. He's, he's gonna, next level guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to be dynamic. You just got to get the ball in his hands, figure out ways to get it to him, get it to him in space, and and let him do his thing. I was just talking to Rogers over there, and we were talking about the West Virginia game. That was in Jacksonville, right? Yep. Yeah, I was there, okay. all right? And you were lights out. We had a good time. Here. Why did Ralph pull the plug on that game? You could have scored 80 that day. Yeah. Well, did that ever bother I think they, you? I no, think not so 41 much. to yeah. 7. The game they, could. Was, they could not stop you. No, they like, could stop. And I think they like the fact that they could run the ball on them at will. It's more of a demoralizing thing. So when you get up by 28 points, you're like, watch this. They're yeah. just going to pound you and pound right. you. And our scheme is better than your scheme, which they always had a number on that 3-3-5 that three, three, stack defense that they ran. Yeah. So, and as a receiver, yeah, do I want to keep throwing the ball and run up the score? But I also enjoy kind of relaxing a little bit, taking a look around the crowd, seeing all the sad faces. Way well, way see, way as way. I said, seeing all the empty seats. Well, yeah, what I, yeah. How did you find out when you were coming back? And uh, had, I was actually... Did who promoted no, you? No, we're, we're talking about the radio crew right. now yeah. because yeah. Steve is part of the play-by-play mm-hmm. with Johnny Holiday. I was actually on vacation when Johnny gave me the call. He said uh, circumstances had changed and that they were looking for a guy and just gave my interest. Right. I said... 
I held my emotions in check initially, right? Let me talk with my family, but I knew I was going to say yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So this Plays is part. Terp Talk with Steve Sudi. You can hear him on the radio, one of the biggest Terp fans uh, we've ever met. So it's great to have you back. Thanks, man. Thanks, hey, man. man.